Programming a computer is a lot easier than it looks and a lot harder than it seems. See, the program is really just a set of instructions, but the power of the computer is the way it can follow those instructions, not necessarily in order, depending on what things happen while it's following those instructions. I have a game in here to uh, ask some questions and check the answers and see if they're right, but look at it. You see, the first thing it's going to do is print anyone want to play on the screen. Now, if you put in no, it'll print thank you and go back and print again anyone want to play. You can do that. You can type no all afternoon until you're blue in the fingers, and it will just keep saying thank you and printing anyone want to play. When you get tired of that, you can type yes. If you type yes, it makes sure that its question and answer list is beginning at the beginning and then asks you for a skill level. If you pick skill level one, it goes and gets the uh, first question and answer off the list. But if you pick skill level two, it'll dump the first bunch of questions because they're the easy ones and go further down the list. Once it's got a question and answer from the list, it asks the question. And then it checks your answer. You put your answer in. Now, if your answer's right, it'll add a one to your score. And if your score isn't three yet, it will go back and get the next question and answer from the list. If the check answer comes up wrong, it adds a one to your wrong score because it has to know how often you've answered a question wrong because it's only going to let you do that three times. Now, if, if your wrong score isn't three, it will print wrong try again and ask the same question. But if you keep making it go around in a circle, giving it the wrong answer, it goes on and it prints the answer to that question. Then it asks you if you want to continue or go on to a new skill level. You can either continue and go back over to here and get the next question and answer from the list, or you can pick a new skill level and go back, reset the question and answer list, ask for a skill level, and all that. Let me see if it works over here. What skill level? One, two, or three? Skill level one. What color is this guy? I know that one. Uh, B-L-U-E. What color is an orange? I'm going to pretend I don't know that and put in the wrong answer. Red. Sorry, wrong. Try again. What color is an orange? Red. Sorry, wrong. Try again. What color is an orange? Red. Now, it should only let me do this three times. Yep. Sorry, wrong. Try again. The answer is orange. And it subtly asked me, do you want a new skill level? Yes. And I'm going to pick skill level three. There. Keep going. What's the einstein smolokhovsky equation? Huh. Well, I don't want to bore you with the answer. You see, these boxes, the computers, are, not much, are no good if they don't have a program or a list of instructions. But with the proper set of instructions and all those little conditional ifs, ands, or buts, and loops to go around in circles if some things happen, you can do almost anything you want. As a matter of fact, if you have 64 mini computers like these, you can even run all the traffic lights in Toronto. <laughs>